How's it going guys? So today I thought I'd do another quick and easy P5 tutorial. Uh, today we're going to add another uh, simple but powerful tool to your P5 toolbox. Uh, we're going to be drawing stars, so let's get into it. Um, so we want to be able to draw stars with any number of points. So we're going to call this N pointed star. I mean, you can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call mine and pointed star. So first thing we're going to need are x and y coordinates for the center of the star. Uh, we're going to need the number of points, so we'll call that n. Uh, we're going so uh, if you haven't seen my regular polygon tutorial yet, I will link that up here. But uh, we're going to be following the same method as that one. Uh, in that one, we uh, we used a circle basically to find uh, find our points on our shape. So we're going to do that same thing. We're actually going to use two circles for this one though. So we're going to need uh, two different radii. Uh, I will call those outer radius and inner radius. Uh, and also we uh, like in that other video, we're going to want to be able to rotate our shape. So we'll pass in a rotation angle and that should be it. So let's begin our shape. And we're going to need to iterate uh, n times i equals zero, i is less than n i plus plus and we're going to add a so we're gonna add vertices now um, so when we start a shape we add vertices to the shape and when we end the shape we tell it to close the shape and it draws lines between all these vertices so uh, so vertex, we just pass in an X and a Y, so actually we're going to, so, uh, so we're going to divide uh, 2 pi, or as I like to say, tau, uh, they mean the same thing, we're going to divide the tau radians by, uh, by N. We're going to divide our circle up into just n uh, even angles. I said that wrong. So we're going to divide our circle up evenly into n angles. That's what I meant. All right. And um, so we're going to have we're also going to need to know which angle we're looking at. So we need to multiply that by actually. So uh, we're going to, let's actually call this outer theta actually, you know what, let's, uh, Yeah, it's it's more clear this way. So outer theta, or maybe it's not. I don't know. Uh, inner theta i plus one half times tau over n. And now that I so let's let's do this. Sorry. I think this is a little bit nicer. Equals tau over n. And now we'll just draw our vertices. So x 
that's our so we're good. so the x coordinate of this vertex is going to be uh, our center x plus cosine of theta. Um, no, it's going to be cosine of i times theta. Because if it was cosine of theta for all of the vertices, they would all be at the same point. So this just iterates through i times theta uh, times all that times the outer radius. And likewise, for the y coordinate, it's going to be our center y plus the sine of i times theta uh, times outer radius. So the reason we need two circles is because, uh, so for our star, it's going to have n points, right? And then so this is point one and this is point two, let's say. Then they're gonna go in. So it, this, so the line is gonna go in a little bit and then it's gonna go back out to the next point. So uh, that this inner circle is just gonna be a collection of points midway between uh, these outer points. Does that make sense? So, so for these inner points, so we're going to draw for each. So at each iteration here, we're going to draw the outer point and then the next inner point. Uh, so for these inner points, these are going to be located at x plus cosine of i plus one half. times theta. Times the inner radius. Plus sine, same thing for this one, y plus sine i plus one half times theta times inner radius. All right, and that gives us our vertices. Then all we need to do is end our shape. And so since we want to close it off, we want to draw lines between all the vertices, we're going to need to pass in uh, the parameter close. And that should do it. So we're gonna, let's make a black background Uh, let's draw a white stroke and draw a star. Uh, let's not fill it in just because I'm weird about that. I don't know why. Alright, so let's put it in the middle. over two, hide over two. Uh, let's make our outer radius 200 and inner radius 100. Actually, hold on, we missed a param. Uh, let's just do a five point Mario star. And then let's just do zero rotation for now. All right, so there we go. Now we got a star, so if we tweak this inner radius, no, 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 I meant 50. There we go, so we see this inner circle gets smaller and the, uh, I don't know, I wanna say arms, I guess, cause I'm thinking of a starfish, like they get skinnier. Let's add some sliders. <laughs>
Oh, uh, I forgot to make this rotatable. So in each of these, we need to add the rotation angle. There we go. As you can see, I added some sliders so we can play with these params a little bit. So this one just adds more points. We see as we change our uh, outer radius and inner radius, how that affects the style of the star. And then we can, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. What's going on here? Oh, oops. Sorry about that. That was in the wrong spot. There we go. All right. Yeah, so see, we can make a fat little five pointed star or can make a real skinny starfish. All right, well now you got a shiny new tool for your P5 toolbox and you're ready to rock it. Uh, have fun and see you next time.